Hi class. Oh, so ang topic natin ngayon is evaluating limits. So paano ba mag-evaluate ng limit? So una, i-substitute nyo. Yan. Tapos pag hindi naman siya naging indeterminate or hindi siya naging undefined, okay yun. Goods na yun. Tapos uh, pangalawa, um, simplify nyo. Kung hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute kasi magiging indeterminate or mag magiging ano siya undefined naman, pag hindi siya pwedeng ganun, i-simplify nyo muna. So pwede nyo i-factoring or pwede nyo i-expand tapos baka may makancel, baka may mag-combine, pag ganun. Tapos, pag hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute, hindi siya pwedeng i-simplify, tinan nyo muna kung may radical. Kung may radical, malamang sa malamang, simplify yon by conjugate. Yan. So, multiply nyo yung buong function by its conjugate, tapos saka nyo simplify Tapos, pag hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute, kasi magiging determinate, indeterminate 0 over 0. Yan. Pag hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute, um, hindi siya pwedeng i-simplify, wala siyang conjugate, Ano na yun? Limit does not exist. So, mag-example tayo. Tapos, yun. Nanghingi lang ang paper sa nurse. Yan. Bigyan, bigyan niya ako apat na band paper. Tapos, yun. Simula na tayo. Okay, example number one. Um, limit ng 4x plus 5x squared minus 3 as x approaches. 2. So, yung 2, try natin i-substitute. Yan. So, nagiging 4 times 2 plus 5 times 2 squared minus 3. So, 4 times 2, siyempre 8. Ito, siyempre, 2 square muna. That's 4 times 5, 20. Minus 3. So, 8 plus 20 is 28. 28 minus 3 is 25. So, dahil hindi naman siya naging indeterminate, hindi siya naging 0 over 0, hindi rin siya naging undefined, so okay na yan. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito sa number 1, na limit ng 4x plus 5x squared minus 3 as x approaches 2, is 25. Okay, so yung number 1, ano to ah? By substitution. Substitution. May nasaspell nasis, uh, si sir. Okay, number 2. Limit ng x square minus 25 over x square plus 2x minus 15 as x approaches negative 5. So, una, try to substitute. So, substitute, nagiging negative 5 square minus 25 over negative 5 square plus 2 times negative 5 minus 15. So, negative 5 square is positive 25 minus 25 is 0. Over ito, ito is 25, ito is negative 10, ito negative 15. So, 25, ay, sorry. So, 25 minus 10 minus 15 is 0. So, 0 over 0 is indeterminate indeterminate yan sir bakit indeterminate tawag kasi kapag inisip nyo kasi pag yung whole number divided by pag yung ano um, whole number greater than 0 nyari 5 divided by 5 di ba 1 yun 4 divided by 4 di ba 1 yun e paano yung 0 over 0 kaso di ba pag any number divided by 0 is undefined di ba e 0 yung denominator nito so ano yun magiging 0 divided by 0 0 Undefined? So, ano? So, kaya indeterminate. Yan. So, ito, dahil hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute, yan. So, bawal siya i-substitute. Try natin ng um, factoring. So, by factoring. So, yung numerator, um, x square minus 25, ang factor niyan is x plus 5, tsaka x minus 5. Diba? Ano yan? Eh? Difference ng 2 square. Over yung denominator, so, anong factor ng 15? Anong factor ng 15? Pag may minus 2. So, ang factor niyan is x plus 5 tsaka x minus 3. Kasi 5 times 3, di ba? 15. Tapos 5 minus 3, di ba? 2. Yan. So, limit as x approaches negative 5. Yan. Ang hirap maghahak ng cellphone na. Then, dahil naka-factored na, naka form yan, pwede kayo mag-cancel. So, ang kinakancel, factors na terms ha. Sabihin, pag pares yung factors nila, pwede yung cancel yung same factors. So, x plus 5, tsaka x plus 5. So, ang natira, x minus 5 over x minus 3. So, hindi ko na i-rewrite ha, para mabilis. So, gagawin na lang, after nyo i-simplify, yung value ng ito, yung x approaches negative 5, try to substitute So, substitute natin. 
negative 5 minus 5 over yung x, negative 5 minus 3. So, negative 5 minus 5, I slide. So, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. So, negative divided by negative is positive. Um, lowest term ng 10 over 5, so divisible by 2. So, magiging 5 over 4. So, ang limit ng function natin as x approaches negative 5 is 5 over 4. Yan. So, ito, um, evaluating limits using factoring. Yan. Example number 3. So, limit ng 6 plus x quantity square minus 36 over x. So, gamit muna tayo ng substitution. So, magiging 6 plus 0 square minus 36 over 0. So, 6 plus 0 is 6 square 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. Over 0. So, indeterminate siya, di ba? Dahil indeterminate siya, hindi siya pwedeng i-substitute. Pag pinactor mo naman yan, eh, 0 pa rin yung denominator, di ba? Kasi, pinactor mo yung numerator. Yung denominator, x pa rin. X approach is 0. So, 0 pa rin. Try natin i-expand. So, expand natin tong 6 plus x squared. So, ang expansion niyan, SMS. Tinuro sa ibang vlog to. So, square the first term. So, 36. Multiply everything. 6 times x. 6x. 6x six x times 2. Positive 12x. Square mo yung last. So, plus um, x square. Copy yung negative 36 over x. Yan. So, ano pwede gawin dyan, sir? Tignan nyo kung may masisimplify. So, yung masisimplify dyan. Ayan, no? 36 minus 36. So, 0 na siya. So, magiging 12x plus x squared over x. Eh, yung numerator, di ba? Pwede i-factor yan. Kasi, both terms have x. So, factor out natin yung x. So, magiging 12 plus x over x. Yan. So, yan. Meron sila yung common factor. X. So, pwede i-cancel yun. So, cancel si X. Yan. Tapos, i-substitute natin yung X approaches 0. Yan. Substitute natin yung 0. So, magiging 12 plus 0 equals 12. So, ang limit ng given natin function as X approaches 0 is 12. Yan. So, ito. Ano to? Um, <coughs> ano to? Sorry. Excuse me. So, ano to? Um, evaluation of function by simplification. Yan. Example number 4. Limit ng square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4 as x approaches 4. So, try mo natin is substitute. So, pag sinubstitute nyo yan, square root ng 4 minus 2 over x minus 4. So, square root ng 4 is 2 minus 2. 0. Ay, hindi ko na substitute for pala to. N of 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So, indeterminate yan, di ba? So, hindi siya pwedeng yung method number 1, substitution. Pwede pa siyang method number 2. Wala naman factor yan, di ba? So, hindi siya pwede factoring. Wala naman expansion yan. Dahil meron siyang radical, malamang sa malamang, um, try natin i-conjugate. So, yung pangatlo, yung unang method, um, substitution. Yung pangalawang method, simplify by factoring or expansion. Yung third is conjugate. So, copying ko ulit, square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4 times. So, ano ba yung conjugate? So, una, tinan nyo muna yung may radical. ba yung numerator yung may radical, ba? So, square root of x minus 2. So, ang conjugate nyan is square root of x plus 2. So, iba yun na yung sign. Over square root of x plus 2. Tapos, yung numerator, dahil ano yan, ah, magkamukha, magkamukha, magkaiba ng sign. Ano yan? Sum and difference of two terms. So, ang um, pag-multiply nyo yan, equal lang yan sa square ng first minus o doon sa um, square ng second which is 4. Yan. Pag multiply nyo yan. Pag ginamitin nyo yan ng distributive property of multiplication, x minus 4 pa rin sagot. Over yung denominator, copy nyo muna. x minus 4. Tapos, square root of x plus 2. Dahil meron tayong pares na factor, simplify natin. x minus 4, x minus 4. Kalimitang mali ng sudyante. Pag na-cancel yung numerator, ang kinokopy lang, square root of x plus 2. Pero siyempre, pag kinasal mo yung numerator, maritra niyang 1. So, dapat yan, pag nasimplify, 
magiging 1 over is square root of x plus 2. So, limit as x approaches 4. So, substitute natin. So, magiging 1 over square root ng 4 plus 2. So, magiging 1 over square root ng 4 is 2 plus 2, 4. So, ang sagot is 1 4. So, yung limit ng given natin, simplify using conjugate is um, yan, 1 4. Yan. Okay, last number, number 5. So, yung number 5 piecewise. So, kasi huling part na ng band paper is wala na tayong band paper. So, um, find the limit ng function as x support is 5. Given ng function, given itong function na to, um, 2x minus 3 if x is less than 5 and x squared minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 5. So, paano ba kinukuha yung limit ng piecewise? So, kailangan mo munang kunin yung left hand limit. Sabihin ng, ibig sabihin ng left hand limit, yung less than saka yung right hand limit, yung greater than. Pag yung left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, Therefore, kung ano yung value ng parehas nila, yun yung limit. Pero kung sakaling hindi sila equal, then limit does not exist. So, try natin. So, una, kunin ko muna yung limit. Limit ng, ng function natin as x approaches 5 from the left. So, 5 from the left, sabihin yung less than. So, ito yung less than, di ba? Yung una. So, 2x minus 3. So, substitute natin kasi, ano eh, yung unang method, di ba? Substitute. So, magiging... Um, 2 times 5 minus 3 so 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3, 7 so 7 yung left hand limit ibig sabihin na ganito, 5 negative ibig sabihin yan, left hand limit ha? hindi siya negative 5, 5 negative kunin naman natin yung um, limit to the right, so limit as x approaches 5 from the right, yan, sabihin sa greater than so greater than ito, x greater than or equal to 5, so yung pangalawang function. So, x square minus 5. So, substitute natin. So, 5 square minus 5. So, 5 square is 25 minus 5, 20. So, yung left hand limit, um, yung left hand limit, so limit, isa natin, limit as x approaches 5 from the left is not equal to limit as x approaches 5 from the right. Therefore, limit does not exist. So, po natin yung sa, ano, sa mga libro, DNE, ibig sabihin, does not exist yun. Sabihin, yun nga, wala siyang limit kasi hindi siya pareha. Pag nagparehas yan, for example, parehas lang 7, ang limit nila 7. So, sir, paano ba i-graph yan? Ganito yung graph yan. Graph natin. Rap, graph, not in scale. So, yan. So, ang limit natin approach is 5. So, Assume tayo na ito yung 5. Yan. So, doon tayo sa left, left muna. Left hand limit. Diba na yan? Linear yan, diba? So, pag sinasikit nyo yung 5 dyan, magiging 7. So, kung ito yung 7, yan, and left, tapos positive naman yun. So, pag ganito yan, um, walang equal, so bilog lang yan. Tapos, yan. Yan. Assuming na yan yung, ano, yan yung graph ng first. Yung pangalawa naman, x square minus 1, so parabola yan. Um, greater than or equal to 5. So, may equal. So, may shade yun. So, pag nagay mo yung 5, uh, 5 dito, di ba, magiging 20. So, assume natin na yung 20. Yan. Tapos, siyempre, dahil may, may um, greater than or equal to, so, may shade yan. Tapos, may shade yan, tapos parabola. Yan. So, dahil hindi sila nagtama, therefore, limit does not exist. So, class, mag na may ike. Tapos, yun. Kasama kami sa prayers, lalo na sa asawa ko tsaka anak ko. Nahirap. Hindi mo mapunta. Nasa facility kasi ako eh. So, prayers na lang. Yan, salamat.